You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on ViroBuzzTV.com. Well, hello everyone. You're watching Buzz TV. I'm Marsha Littlejohn, and I'm here with Pamela Cooper. And of course, Pamela Cooper is the supervisor of the Archive Center and Genealogy Department. Correct. Oh boy, I give that title to you all <laughs> the time. Long. <laughs> Pam, it's, it's too long. It's wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Good to be you here. You are a busy lady. Oh gosh, yes. Very, a lot. very busy. And are those uh, real eight oh, earrings that you have? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, you must be having so much fun though with this. We because are truly. It is. It, it's just a commemoration of, I guess, really what I love to say is the Treasure Coast. Yes. I mean, it yes. has such a correlation with the Treasure Coast. So let's talk about a little bit of the backstory of this wonderful celebration that you're celebration and commemoration, I guess, really, right. because twelve hundred about individuals. eight to twelve hundred, because we see different stories, yeah. uh, and every everybody author every author has a different uh, take on it. But uh, again, yes, it's eight to twelve hundred people who die, but it's more than that. It's families. It's families. There were wives and children. On let those me just ships. quickly let everyone know we're talking about the fleet, not yes. the hurricane of last year or anything. <laughs> no, we're talking exactly. about the fleet of the 1517, 1715, 1715 fleet. Right. How many were in the in the fleet? There were approximately there were 12 ships, and uh, the Griffon, which was the French ship, did get away. Uh, it was the lead ship. And then the other 11 ships actually all sank from uh, St. Lucie to Bavard County. Oh, and we wow. have about seven of those ships just in our county alone. And that is where the Treasure Coast came from. That's where the Treasure Coast. In fact, I just uh, posted that on Facebook on about the 1965 article where the Treasure Coast finally was uh, printed in the paper. And from there on, that's what we became in 1965 when Schumann was uh, oh, the editor yes. of the newspaper. So, wow, and that is where the words Treasure Coast came from, is yes. because there is a treasure out there. Absolutely, and Kip Wagner, who was one of the founders oh, sure. of the Real Eight Corporation, was uh, at that time very busy um, uh, finding all of these wrecks, and he had uh, was working with the National Geographic magazine. Ah. And they did a huge article in January 65, and it was January 65 when they published it in the newspaper. Wow. So, Talk about archaeology. Yeah, yeah. Archaeology and genealogy. <laughs> genealogy. But archaeology. Research. Too, uh, research. <laughs> because I can remember when Kip Wagner was on the beach in the Atlantic. Yes. And yeah. uh, up there in Brevard County. He had his own museum up there, if yes, I remember. Yes, on, yeah. on the way up right, there on, on right. A1A. So it was just, I mean, there is such a correlation there. But the Treasure Coast, of course, is what is so wonderful. That, of course, now is the Space Coast up there. Right. But the Treasure right. Coast, and this is why it's there. You all are doing, this is 300 years ago. Right. That this One time happened. event that won't happen again. No, we hope it won't <laughs> happen again, no. But 300 years ago, absolutely, we we're, were trying to commemorate uh, what had happened, and, uh, and we're doing it over a period of five days, and we're working with or collaborating with the 1715 Fleet Society, wonderful, wonderful wonderful group to work with. And it's going to be what we call an educational event. That's what it truly is. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing is education. Mm -hmm. Very quickly before we have to take our break, you have a kind of a uh, the scavenger hunt? Oh yes, a little bit of a treasure hunt that West Bay Trading Company is sponsoring for us. Uh, a real aid that he is going to be giving us and we can, uh, we do have it online, how to do the treasure hunt. Well we're going to talk about it when we come okay. back because that is a great opportunity. Someone is going to be the lucky recipient of a real treasure, what do we call it? A piece real aid. Piece of eight. Piece of eight eight reals. <gasps> okay, so don't go away. We'll be right back with Pam Cooper talking about the fleet of 1715. We'll be back. Since 1951, Globe Life and Accident Insurance Company has been providing families with life insurance protection. One dollar covers the first month of coverage, whether you choose from $5,000 up to $100,000 of coverage. First day coverage means no waiting periods. Easy to buy, no medical exam, no risk 30 day money back guarantee. Up to $150,000 of accidental death coverage can be added to your policy. Globe Life makes buying life insurance easy. Well, we're happy you stayed with us and you're going to be as well because we're here with Pam Cooper continuing our talk about the commemoration week of the loss of the 1715 fleet. 
which turned the Treasure Coast into the Treasure Coast. Mm -hmm. So let's just once again remind people of how they might be the recipient of one of those real pieces of aid. Well, the best thing that they can do is to go to the library, our main library here in Vero Beach, and see all of our displays. We have 15 historical panels that the staff put together, and then we have uh, six display cases the staff put together, and uh, we are just so proud of it. Uh. And in order to uh, win the one of three prizes that we are giving, you have to actually read some of those panels and answer questions on the treasure hunt. Oh, so boy. so we, we're just trying to you know get a, get a way to get people interested in it and by reading the panels. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful because then you'll be you'll be up to to date on everything. Right. You'll know yeah. what this is all about. Right. And of course, when you walk out there, because someone was telling me that in many cases, when you're along the beach out there, you may think something is just a little shell, but yeah. it could oh, be something I very know. very valuable. I could kick myself if I only knew years. Ago. I used I to go out there. <laughs> and, and because of the tarnish and all that, right. they say it may look like a shell, but it could be a real piece That's of aid. That's right. But let's talk now about, because you mentioned the, and it is the West Bay Trading Company. West Bay Trading is, has given us an eight wee ounce, mm -hmm. and we've also have uh, a piece of silver, and we've also got uh, Captain Hyron's giving us a $25 gift certificate, and the 1715 Fleet Society has given us uh, commemoration coins. Oh, what a neat fun. little gift. <gasps> yeah, very nice. Absolutely. So this is all happening to when is the actual celebration the week it's going to be, be July 27th mm -hmm. through the 31st and that would be Monday would be the authors we have 13 authors coming in and during that time we'll not only will the authors being there signing their books they're going to have their own displays oh. they're bringing in their stuff and this is at the library at the library that's I think that's the fun part is to see all these different because they're yes. all divers and salvagers and, 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 and writers but isn't there a singer? Yes, Al uh -huh. Scartino, who is well known here in Indian River. Absolutely. He's actually written a song called Spanish Treasure. Oh my and it, I loved it. I, I That's why I said, oh Al, we've got to have you, please. Can you please come? And he said yes, of course. And so he's going to be uh, singing in the background uh, all day on Monday and then also on Friday for a little bit on his own. Oh so boy. So we're and, really happy about that. And the date, once again, July the, 27th. At what time? And is it from 10 to 3 is going to be going to be the uh, event with the authors, artists, and displays, and uh, you name it. There's going to be, it's going to be a busy room, very well, busy. <laughs> but, but it goes on for how many days? The whole, five days. Five days. Yeah. It's the whole week, because it was 300 years ago that all that treasure was lost out there. Yeah. One of the ships got away. Right. And then, of course, it was after that, because I think someone said like 1,200 bodies washed up. Oh, unsure. yeah. Well, there was there was quite a, a bit of, you know, wreckage. And the thing that is interesting to me is the fact that there were salvage camps, or maybe three of them uh, up and down the coast, mm -hmm. and those salvage camps were there quite some time, and they used the local Ais Indians to yes. dive for the gold to, to, to get what they could, which obviously did not get all of it. Oh, boy. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to continue our discussion with Pam Cooper. She is the supervisor of the Archive Center and Genealogy Department department right here at our main library, mm -hmm. right here in Vero Beach. We're going to be talking about the commemoration week of the loss of the 1715 fleet. Wow. How many, how many in the fleet? Uh, oh, ships? I'm sorry. Yeah, 12 ships. 11 12 of ships. them uh, wow. are shipped back here. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to be talking about that and some children's programs as well. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach.
Well, we are indeed back. Oh, time is just going so quickly because we only have a couple of minutes to really tell you more about this. But if someone wants to really get the whole outline of this wonderful week that you all are doing commemorating the mm -hmm. loss of this fleet, where would they go? I would go to the irclibrary.org mm -hmm. and you'll see very right there on the front page commemoration and you click on that and you'll see our web page that because we are updating it all the time adding new things um, we constantly are getting somebody saying can I come and <laughs> and sell my books or whatever oh, sure. so there are changes always happening and I would definitely recommend people to do that now I have a wonderful team of people oh my goodness we, there's five of us that have been working on this and, oh, and the ladies I call them and they've been helping us uh, doing the hold all the displays and the children's program on Wednesday is being done by Holly and uh, Marie who work at Brackett Library and they uh -huh. do a lot of the children's programs and if you've ever seen any of their children's programs you'd be amazed at what they have done and this will all be part of this commemoration absolutely week. so they've it'll be got, history as well they have got Captain Bonnie Schubert who oh, found yes. the pelican of piety yes. she's coming in to show the children metal detecting. Oh. And then we have Sam and CJ Milner who have written many songs and books and, and they're going to be doing entertaining the children. Now that's on, on July the 29th. The 9th on Wednesday. On uh -huh. Wednesday. And so it's actually five days that mm -hmm. you're celebrating Absolutely. all of this with something different. There's also a bus tour. The bus tour with Margaret Weller. She's going to be our guide and we are. she's going to take us over to Riamar to show us where three of the wrecks were and tell us a little bit about, about the background. Down on the beach. Down on the beach. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, hopefully it's a beautiful day. Oh, it will be. <laughs> it will be. And then we're going to take off and go down to Turtle Beach where there's another wreck. And then we'll go to McLarty where the McLarty is going to be working with us to show, take us on the, a guided tour of the area. They've added a well there and, and several different things. All right. I want to ask you, have they, have divers literally found the ships out there? Oh, sure. Absolutely. But, you know, I, as much as we, this is one of the wonderful things about this whole project that the team has been. We have learned so much, but we have also learned that everybody's got a different opinion. Oh, sure. And so the names of the ships, oh my goodness, we tried. We tried very hard to figure out what ship belonged to which because oh. one author would say one thing and another author would say another. Well, as my I've mom said, you never believe what you hear, read, or see. Yes. you got to check it out for yourself. And there's no so. name tags on these ships. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was no name tag. But, but they have found <laughs> Did they find they 11, ships, 11 ships? 11 um, ships. I, I think there's still a couple more Herbs. they're still trying to find. Yeah, yeah because yeah. I know I, I know that when, in speaking with the author, and he was just at the Vera Beach Book Center, mm -hmm. Robert Curson, and he wrote that uh, Divers divers uh hunters i think diver but anyway it's a wonderful 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 book but he was talking about how divers and treasure divers will say that x does not mark the spot Absolutely. it simply marks the area the area so yep. this is what we're going to do area. now in yep. these last 30 seconds so we have a bus tour on the 30th and mm -hmm. how do people sign up for that um again the form is online at our uh, site they oh, do have to pre-register it's the only one that costs and okay. we're paying got to pay for the bus somehow sure. and the gasoline yeah and your speakers and on the, the speakers 31st? we've got three wonderful speakers and we've um we got john brandon we've got um uh, bonnie bonnie and we've got captain fizz He's, oh, boy. he's really a cool guy. <laughs> if you want to get goosebumps, you need to go to all of this because <laughs> yeah. it truly, when you realize, and it's right out here, the Treasure Coast, that's where we live. Right here, Indian River County, the Treasure Coast. Boy, this is going to be fun. Yeah, it will be. You will Absolutely. take a big, a big breath. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm looking to forward to oh, it, good. though, myself. <laughs> oh, well, we all are. Pam Cooper, thanks so very much for being with Thank us. Thank you. And thanks to all of you for watching. You are watching Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804.
Now, welcome back to Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn, and you are going to love, you're going to get really exercised on this because we're going to be talking about athletics. And here to talk to us, Patty Howard, who is the Assistant Recreation Director yeah. of the City of Vero Beach. Good to see you. Good to see you. And along with you, Patty, is your boss. My boss. Bob Slezak. And of course, you are Recreation Director right here at the City of Vero Beach doing great things. How are you doing? Happy to be here. Happy to have you here. And of course, I guess when I look down here at the notes, I'm thinking, oh my golly, are we going back in time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but let's talk really, of course, first about our city recreation, because as you know, this is internet TV, which means people all over the world are watching and people will even call their friends in other parts of the country and say, watch. So Vero Beach Recreation, Tell me a little bit about it so that they'll come to Vero Beach and play. Well, let's talk about what you can do to play here. Um, first of all, you have free beaches. We have three of them with guards right there, Hummiston, JC, South Beach. Uh, we have a free fountain for kids to enjoy year-round called Royal Palm Point, which I know they love. Absolutely. We've, we've got outstanding recreation programs, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Great facilities, inexpensive to come here, and I know quality of life, people love it here, and they really do appreciate it, and we always hear about it. Well, do you know, I know, and I just love hearing you say that as well, because when I think about our parks and our beautiful recreational areas and the beauty of just going down to the beach, I just spoke recently with one of, I think, one of your head lifeguards. I'm going to get him on to talk about, oh, I don't want to say it. Shark season. Mm -hmm. Shark season. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what makes the world go round. But I mean, it's just, it's wonderful the different things that you do. But when Patty walked in and I was thinking, gosh, Patty Howard, years and years ago, and I think we talked to you and you were literally in the aerial antics. That's right. Boy, oh boy. And now you are one. <laughs> I, am, I am in charge. You are in charge. Yeah. charge. So let's do talk about this. It is the 40 first annual aerial antics circus yes first of all let me ask you did you do any of the high stuff and yes oh yes did you jump it's fun did you ever fall no was there a net underneath you mats mats very okay. soft mats well it was so much fun because i think years ago we did take the the cameras out there and we did we some did. and mm -hmm. it was just amazing to see what these kids are doing and if i'm not mistaken some of you went on further was it University of uh, or FSU? Florida State, yep. Yeah. They have a, a great circus program up there. So our youth circus program feeds right into it. And actually our um, coordinator right now who runs summer camp just graduated from FSU oh. and was in the circus. So oh. she's got lots of experience and she's doing great things for the kids. Oh, and this is history right mm -hmm. here at the city of Vero Beach Recreation. But let's do talk then, if you will, um, Bob, or Rob, I should say, talk to me about this, the antics, because we're only gonna take a minute here and take a little break. But when we think about aerial antics, who can participate? Kids from the ages of two all the way up to, we have adults up to 30, 35 years of age who come out and participate. And I know they have a couple hundred performers every year. And uh, I can tell you that this is so unique, and I'll let Patty talk about just how unique it is just within the state. Well, we're going to talk about that when we come back, because there, it is it is so unique and so wonderful. And if you're new in our community and you have not been to one of these wonderful performances, you have to put it on your calendar, because it's the 41st Annual Aerial Antics Circus. And this is, you say adults are in it as well? Absolutely. Yes. Adults are doing those high wires? We have a, actually a teacher. Wow, who okay. Will be performing. She's mm -hmm, 30. Well, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> a, a baby. That's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to talk all about it. And it's the 41st, actually, the 41st Aerial Antics Circus. And that's thanks to our Vero Beach City Recreation. So stay with us. We'll be right back and tell you more specifics about when Patty was doing that, what do we call it? High trapeze aerial arts. Trapeze aerial arts. So way up there. We'll be right back. Don't go away. With life insurance protection. One dollar covers the first month of coverage whether you choose from five thousand dollars up to one hundred thousand dollars of coverage. First day coverage means no waiting periods. Easy to buy. No medical exam. No risk 30-day money-back guarantee. Up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars of accidental death coverage can be added to your policy. Globe Life makes buying life insurance easy.
Well, thanks for staying with us. We're talking with Rob Slezak. He is the Recreation Director of our City of Vero Beach Recreation Department. And, of course, Patty Howard, who is Assistant Recreation Director. And I guess we, we talked about this wonderful aerial antics, the 41st. When is it, when is it to be? August 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, it's at St. Edward's School. And it's 7 o'clock each evening. Every show is different. Oh. So... So what are they? Is it inside or outside? It's inside. It's in their gymnasium, oh, right next yes. to the wax flux. Oh, there. of course. Yep. <gasps> we have got things hanging from the ceiling. We've got all kinds of good stuff. And it's stuff. music too. The only thing you don't have, you don't have clowns, do you? No clowns. We used to, we used mm -hmm. to, but we kind of cut that out because all of the other stuff was. It was uh, take more it, entertaining. Absolutely, yeah. and it is because when you see maybe your next door neighbor's child up there doing these wonderful aerial antics, it is just amazing. So once again, the date and time? August 6th, 7th, and 8th, 7 p.m., St. Edward's School. And I wanted to mention that the theme this year is 80s, so it's all Oh, like, with that music? music? Oh, really. how much fun. <laughs> it's, it's been fun. That, oh, golly. <laughs> so how many are in it? We, I believe approximately 250. Wow. Mm -hmm. Just a really active, and once again, the date and time for the August sixth, seventh, and eighth. All right, 7 don't PM. don't want to miss it. We'll give you a website where you can go and get all the information as well. But you have some dedications coming up as well. We do um, a couple different things that are coming. Uh, we have a community project. We, we're really been fortunate this year. We've got great public-private partnerships going great. on. Uh, we had a group uh, led by Kelly Della Porta called Go Play Vero, and she was able to get a number of volunteers and a number of sponsors to come out and raise more than $200,000 wow. for Humiston Beach. Oh. And we have a new playground that will be coming. I, I'm thinking end of August or early September, we'll have a dedication coming, so that's coming oh, that's soon. Terrific. And what's really exciting, too, is that not only are they going to do Humiston Beach, but they're also looking at other playgrounds, too, to enhance them Great. and beautify them. So that's one thing. And then the other thing we've got going on at Bethel Creek House, one of our rental facilities, um, you know, I always say that my wife and I, when we go out, we paint the town beige. <laughs> well, the thing about our buildings is they're either beige yes. or pink uh -huh. or whatever they are. And um, the one thing I have to say is that uh, Lori Lee, who works with us, had an idea. Maybe what we want to do with uh, Bethel Creek House, one of our rental facilities, because it's kind of dull outside. Why don't we see if the Vero Beach Art Club would be willing to come out oh. and paint a nice mural out on that, on the whole wall? Great idea. And they've done it. So oh. it's right there. When you drive by Bethel Creek, you've got a yet. mural. And it's right on the north side. And uh, right you, there's no way to Hummus. miss it. That's from, correct. Right across yeah. from J.C. Beach mm -hmm. Park. That's JC correct. Beach, right. Oh. So that's, that's coming. And then our, the dedication for that is coming. And then the other thing is, is the Art Club is ready to do some more stuff. And uh, I actually had another person volunteer who wants to do some more murals. So we're going to beautify oh, the city a little be... bit more. And great for the artists as well. Absolutely. You know, and the other thing is, I know that um, you've had genealogical people in here yes. and everything else. They're going to have a time capsule, I guess, put into um, J.C. Beach Park to with the 300 year anniversary yes. of the ship and all that other stuff that's coming in the end of july and oh so those wow. are really neat those now, where are really will a time capsule be that's going to be placed in jc beach park uh around the boardwalk area uh up where hmm, the ship there's some remnants of either oh, yes. the ship or yeah. something that's up there the right in that area 15 fleet went correct down. correct oh my correct. golly and when are they going to open the time capsule Another 300 uh, years? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. I think way past our time. Okay. All right. But, I was um, going to say, let me know, and we'll see if we can yeah. cover it. And we're really <laughs> excited about that. And, and, you know, we've had, to let you know, just the, the other thing is we had the Girard Pavilion that just came in at Leisure Square, which was one of the facilities that another group of folks oh, led fabulous. by Bev Paris and I'm going to have you hold the, hold the thought because yeah. we're going to come back. No we're problem. We're going to just take a little break here and I want to talk okay, again. I'll slow down. And, let, and we went and went, let, <laughs> let us know what Bev Paris did because if we don't get that out, she'll get mad at me. So yeah. we're going to talk about that. And me too. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. So don't go away. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m.
Well, you are happy that you're here and we're happy that you're here because we're going to continue our discussion about some of the dedications, these wonderful parks and, and how the public has been helping in so many ways. You mentioned the time capsule at J.C. Park, but the significance of our public and how they can help and how they put all of this together. We are always looking for folks to, who want to help us out. Uh, they can easily call us over at our recreation department. Uh, we had this pavilion that was put in, the Girard Pavilion. Uh, the Girard Company came in and were the main sponsors, but we had a number of different sponsors and uh, volunteers come in again and, how did and do Paris it. how did Beth fit into that? She basically was the person in charge. Her and Marty <laughs> they, took they care of it. They're else. wonderful. They, wonderful? they are yeah. great. You know, just like Kelly Delaport, great people just trying to make a difference in the community. Uh, if there's other projects out there or down the line, I'm sure they'll be a part of it. We really appreciate them. Do you know, I think this is what's so wonderful about our community. They, we have so, we've just done several interviews here recently with people who are supporting in so many different ways and specifically for children. But when you, we think about the recreation department, you all are serving everybody from every age, from babies, infants, right on up to grandpas and, and grammys and so many different things with our beaches and the public parks and so on. But you have two weeks of summer camp left right, right now. So how does that work? We've got registration for the next two weeks. Go ahead. Oh, you, a registration camp. is open. We have we have openings available. So if anyone's interested, we have a sports camp and we have the Aerial Antic Circus Camp. If oh, good. If interested, to, they All can they sign can... up. It's probably a little too late to be in the circus because oh. routines and customs have already been slated. But you can they certainly can still come participate. The but the camps really, and then you have gymnastics re uh, registration. registration. If you want to be a part of the gymnastics and aerial antics program. Our next registration will be on Saturday, August 29th at Leisure Square, 8 o'clock. And what the... Just to let you know, some other things that are coming on uh, that uh, facility improvements. We had talked earlier a little bit about Royal Palm Point oh, Fountain. Yes. Um, it's been running. It's uh, over 12 years old and it needs some work and it's going to be really improved. I mean, people oh. are going to really be happy and that's coming soon. So we're going to have a lot of happy people, all kinds of kids that and families. That to me is kind of the epitome of Vero Beach. That fountain right at the end where the old bridge used to go. And that was that's when right. you think about that, there's a lot of history there. But that's going to all be up and, and flowing. Absolutely, up and flowing. We only have, we usually have between two and four pumps running right now, where there we're going to have seven. So oh, they're going to have beautiful. all kinds of variety so there. And I know folks are going to be really happy to see that. The other thing that's coming too, we're having courts resurfaced right now, but the oh. courts that are being resurfaced are going to be, a number of them are going to be pickleball, where? which is the new sport. Over here at Pocahontas Park. Really? You, you all notice. Pickleball. Pickleball. Pickle. Pickleball. Pickleball, and it's uh, yeah, an interesting name. It's basically, it's a um, if you can imagine a miniature version of tennis or an extended version of ping pong. It's oh kind my of in God, between. but not padunk. Not padunk. Okay, no padunk. we're going to work on that one too, though. <laughs> we're working on <laughs> working that. Working on that one. I want to thank you all so very much. This is going to be just absolutely fabulous. All the recreation in our community. Thanks to our recreation department, Rob Slezak, and of course, Patty Howard doing so many wonderful things for kids. Website, once again? www.covb.org. Check and it out. City of Vero Beach. Yeah, <laughs> City of Vero Beach. Ch check it out because really all of this is going to be on that website. Thanks once again for being with Thank us. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for all you do. And we're all going to go out there and play some pickleball. Yay. So we'll see you next time. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love it. Tell a friend. <laughs>